Here comes a new challenger! Hello! So today I was invited by Kid Show You Can or Jim uh, to do a review or talk about uh, one of my favorite games on the Game Boy Color. And I forgot to mention because I never do collabs that my name is Zuby and my channel is Zuby's Game Room. Now back to the video. And I still have the price like the sticker that I haven't taken off but it has the um it's wrapped in plastic so it's not directly on the box. I know some people hate that so sorry. Uh, this is Pocket Puyo Puyo San for the Game Boy Color. And this is one um, of my favorite franchises at least for puzzle games. And the original game Puyo Puyo San 64 for the Nintendo 64 was or is my favorite Nintendo 64 game. So I decided to pick this one to talk about and yeah so let's get right into it. As I've mentioned, Puyo Puyo San 64 is my favorite Nintendo 64 game because it was something I grew up with and I can still enjoy playing to this day. The portable version I'm talking about today, Pocket Puyo Puyo San for the Game Boy and Game Boy Color, is of course not as amazing as the console version but it still holds up as a fun puzzle game. For those who have never played any of the Puyo Puyo games, they are basically a match 4 puzzle game where you have to match 4 of the same Puyo Puyos on your screen that fall from the top of the screen, kind of like Tetriminos from Tetris. Unless you are playing the new Puyo Puyo games, the Puyos always come in 2's for you to match. You can match them by color, but each of the Puyo Puyos have a different face or expression to them so you can tell which ones they are even if you can't see the color. Although in the portable versions, that's hard to do. The difference between this version and the Nintendo 64 version other than the obvious visual aspects of the game are that when you counter a trash Puyo, which are transparent Puyo Puyos without color that get in your way when the enemy attacks you, the Sun Puyos will appear at a random spot instead of the game telling you where it will fall, like on the Nintendo 64 version. This means that you can counter attack quite easily compared to the Nintendo 64 version as even if you got rid of all the trash Puyos, you also had to deal with the Sun Puyos afterwards. Since there was a lag between you getting rid of the trash Puyos and the Sun Puyos appearing. The Sun Puyo is a special Puyo introduced in Puyo Puyo Sun that when you erase it with other Puyos, it adds more damage to your attack. This of course is also the same on the 64 version and there are other more technical small changes that I won't go into detail today. The story cutscenes present in the console version has been cut from the release and the special animation for each of the Puyo Puyos depending on each of the characters have also been cut, which is understandable. But you can see the characters in the middle of the battlefield pushing each other, which is kind of cute. I do of course prefer the Nintendo 64 version because what I really loved about that game was all the cutscenes and all the talking. The voices have also been cut too from this version. Since this is not an exclusive game for the Game Boy Color, you can also play it on the regular Game Boy. However, it's harder of course to differentiate the Puyos due to the lack of colors. The game does offer compatibility with other two Puyo Puyo games, which are Puyo Puyo 2 and Pocket Puyo Puyo 4. So if you want to play against your friends who don't have Pocket Puyo Puyo Sam and they have one of the other two games, you can still play. This game also brought back four characters missing on the Nintendo 64 versions. And my favorite actually was one of the characters that were missing on the Nintendo 64 version, which was Cat Chi. And obviously this is because I like cats and this character is very cute. And that's it. So what did you guys think? Um, it's definitely not like the best game ever because you know I'm always gonna, well at least in my case, I'm always going to be, um, how do you call it, comparing it to the original console version because that's my favorite game. But if you don't have access to a Nintendo 64, I guess this is the second best thing and I think it's really cool especially for back then that you could you could play with other people who didn't have the same version of Puyo Puyo you could play with um, people who have Puyo Puyo 2 or 4 on the Game Boy or Game Boy Color so that's cool and thanks to Jim for inviting me to talk about this game and I hope you guys have a great day bye bye